Hi, this is Dr. Keith Forwith with Advanced ENT and Allergy. Each week we take and answer some of the questions that come in over the internet. And uh, this week we're going to talk about the flu vaccine, we're going to talk about allergies, we're going to talk about a clogged ear, and some problems with dizziness. I was diagnosed with a bovine allergy after being bitten by a lone star tick. Is it okay to get a flu shot? I was unsure if there would be anything. One of the best things you can do for allergies are some of the over-the-counter medications. Loratadine, which is Claritin, is a very excellent medication. It's an antihistamine, and it's best to use first thing in the morning. The Nasacort is actually a nasal steroid, but it's not a systemic steroid. It's just a topical steroid, so it's very, very safe to use, and it's safe to use for a long time. So actually the regimen of using both Claritin or Loratadine with Nasacort is actually an excellent strategy for allergies. Now, if that's not holding you and things are getting worse on that regimen, then that'd be a great time to come in and see us. But if you're doing well on that medication, that combination of medications, uh, then I would continue to use it and it is safe to do for quite a long time. I was diagnosed with a bovine allergy after being bitten by a Lone Star tick. Is it okay to get a flu shot? I was unsure if there would be anything in the flu shot that would cause a reaction. Well, generally when you get a flu shot, they're going to ask you about an egg allergy. So a bovine or a cow allergy is really not a factor for flu shots. In fact, even an egg allergy in 2014, the CDC came out and said that we don't really need to worry so much about even an egg allergy and that the benefits of a flu shot outweigh the very, very small risk that someone with an egg allergy would have when they get a flu shot. So generally, we're not going to worry so much about the allergy, especially if it's not to egg. I have a clogged ear. Sound is muffled. I've tried drops, flushing, and hot compresses with no luck. Any suggestions? It sounds like your clogged ear that you're fighting what may be a wax impaction, and if you've tried those things, then you may need to come in and just get it cleaned out. Also, it may not be wax at all. There could be fluid behind the eardrum in the middle ear space and that could be causing a clogged feeling and occasionally there are some inner ear conditions which give us the feeling of a clogged ear but it's actually not a clogged ear and we can explain some of that but to really answer your question we would need to look at your ears and perform an, a really good exam. I was diagnosed with BPPV two months ago. I still have a mild dizziness, increased level of tinnitus and can still hear my pulse in my right ear. Is it normal to still be experiencing these symptoms at this point in time? So dizziness from BPPV is the most common type of vertigo that we see and it's easy to treat. However, the symptoms that you describe, mainly ringing in the ears and pulsatile uh, sensation within the ears, are not at all related to BPPV. So if you've got those things going on, it probably needs further investigation. It'd be a good thing to come visit us for.